losses. Uh, he won his last match in spectacular fashion with the KO in the second round. Yeah, against a fighter by the name of Kador here on Thai Fight League, but this will be the first time that he fights. I was about to say he fights a Thai. <laughs> no, not the case. It's Myanmar taking on Iran. That's right. And the referee in charge is referee Pong Pat Wong Wai. Judges ringside are Phuket Prampayun, Bunya On Pengwuk, and Tawan Ying Ubon. And the president of the judges and the referees here on Thai Fight is Dr. Sawang Wutia Pitak. So this is a super fight taking place at 67 kilograms. We have a dual main event this evening where the 69 kilogram Thai Fight League semi-finals will be taking place. That's right, the winner will advance to the finals and will compete against each other on the 3rd of next month. And already is Joshua going forward. Oh, oh, oh with the knees to the body and Joshua's already in big trouble. Yeah, big trouble. He's got a massive fan base it seems inside the Thai Fight Arena. Attempted left and right hands coming in from the mouth of Myanmar, but once again, going back to the knees is Mohamed Aji Baji. Yeah, I mean, Bargi's making those knees really work for him. It seems like Joshua, his weakness is Ooh. inside the clinch, but his opponent, Mohamed Bargi, may not want to trade hands oh. with the Myanmar, Myanmar fighter. Big elbow, and he says, bring it. Another right hand, and once again, he says, come on, then test my chin. Yeah, that's what we know about fighters from Myanmar. I mean, they love to be tested on the chin. And already Joshua is telling his opponent early on, you can't hurt me. But maybe the knees has done some effect. Right. I would like to say, yeah. Oh! What about the hands and the elbows? Why would you do that? I don't Why know. would you do that? Maybe you're insane. I For the love of God, protect yourself. <laughs> oh! Big left high kick there. Forget the head, just go to the body. I'm not sure how many brain cells Joshua has already lost, but I'd say a few million. <laughs> Unbelievable action here in round number one already on Thai Fight League. Don't you just love it? Going forward once again, Joshua going for the legs this time as his opponent goes high and he takes Mohamed Bargi to the canvas. Back to the knees, to the body. Smart tactic in my opinion. Good uppercut there. Oh, and a left hand kick from Bargi and once again, oh, big right hand. Yep, Bargi just keep going to the body. I mean, he's already shown that there's a weak spot over there. But the head, I'm not sure if that's a weak spot whatsoever. Well, Mohamed Bargi keeps accepting these invitations to go to the head. But it's the body shots that are doing the damage right now. Beautiful knees. Yeah, a lot of knees. And I'm quite surprised that Joshua won't attack with a knee back. Oh, big dump right in front of us. I'll tell you what, he looks strong there, but I mean, if he keeps on doing that as his last re resort, he's going to be very, very tired as the match goes on. What an exhausting got me round here on Thai Fight League for both these men. Another attempted right hand to the body, left kick, and another left kick to the head, and a swinging elbow by Baji. What is going on? I'll tell you what, Manye Joshua, he's like a walking punching bag. That's exactly how it looks at the moment. He attacks back every now and then. I'll tell you what though, Baji, I think he might have entered the gas tank. He looks exhausted right now. I think he just had the most intense round of hand work. That's what it seems like anyways. And what? Joshua is just relentless, just continues to move forward. Keeps walking into the kicks of the body though. End of round number one. Take a deep breath and come back here on Thai Fight. Let's have a look at the highlights from that round. I mean, just throw the whole round again, why not? I think the people on the stream are saying we just found the Myanmar version of Rod Tang, but my goodness, did he take a lot of shots to the head? Where well, there's no sense, there's no feeling, apparently. I think there's a difference. I mean, Rod Tang actually fights back. That's a good point, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does fight back every now and then, but he's taken a lot of heavy shots early on. And um, despite him showing his braveness. I gotta say, the first round definitely went to Mohamed Bargi. I'm pretty oh, sure. 100%. I'm pretty sure the viewers at home would agree with us there. The question but is, though. But you said it perfectly. He was like doing pad work for about 100 rounds. In 
Yeah, the most tiring round he's probably had in his life. Good knees and good kick there by Mohamed Barji. Could be a case of trying to hang on now and just go for that decision, knowing that you cannot knock this man out for some reason. But Mohamed Barji is going to continue to press. Looking for good knees once again to the body. A smart move by Mohamed Barji. Joshua hasn't really found anything of note, to be honest. No, he really hasn't. I mean, he does. He has had a good punch. So he has had some good punches, but overall, it's just not enough. I mean, Bargi as well is still trying to find this man's weak spot. And now he's going to the punches through the body and receives a punch back, but he takes it like a champ. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big right hand! Uh, Pops think, back up to his feet. I think he was just off balance a little bit. But now you can see he is getting tired, though, he Joshua. Is. How could he not be? Sharp knees to the body once again by Mohamed Baji in this round. Here comes Joshua once again, flying over to take more punishment. Left kicks attempted. Nothing really doing here for Joshua, but Mohamed Baji is tired, is out on his feet right now. He can barely put his hands next to his head, he can barely cover up. It looked like Baji just had a look of disbelief. Like, what is it going to take for me to knock this man out? He just keeps coming forward and receiving attacks. Don't try, just do this. Grab a hold of him, frustrate him. And every now and again, just go to the body. I mean, what we know about Mohamed Barji is that he always tries to put on a show for the fans. He tries to knock his opponents out. He's trying to give us one here, but I mean, just look at Joshua, just Kicks way too strong. What is this made? What is this man made of? Uh, it's not the same thing as you and me, that's for sure. <laughs> More kicks, oh! But that's that's perfectly legal, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's just Boyd getting very, very frustrated at the moment. Extremely frustrated. He's digging deep, but once again, he's just doing the smart thing here, wrapping his hands around the head of Joshua. Oh, spinning back elbow attempted, and just running down the clock. And there's a slight cut just above the left eye of Joshua. I didn't think he would get cut. So at least now we know he's human. There's no blood flowing from it though. Oh, That's yes. a bit worrying. That's some Terminator <laughs> stuff. Exactly. Stuff. <laughs> what is this man made of? This I can't is, get I can't wrap my head. This is head insanity. This. Yeah, it is. Once again, the knees to the body by the Iranian. And now you see Joshua there trying to punch his way out of it, not just oh, taking knees knee to the, to the head. head. I mean, Joshua's swinging, but he's just hitting F the majority of the time. End of round number two, which is going to feel like round number 15 for Mohamed Baji. There you can see highlights from a very similar round at number two to what we saw from round number one. Mohamed Baji on the attack and Joshua just standing there taking, I say a take a beating, taking shots, not necessarily a beating. I'm honestly <laughs> lost for words. I mean, <laughs> I what, what, is, what is Manye Joshua made of? Just take a look at this. I don't even know if he's human at the moment. He is tough, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, ripping body shots there. From Joshua, kick to the neck by Mohamed Baji. I mean, Mohamed Baji has attacked every single part of Joshua's body. We saw. Where else do you see action like this other than Thai Fight League? I know I do say it every week, but seriously. I haven't got Come a clue. Come on, where? Unbelievable. All right, here we go. Third and final round. And Joshua looking the fresher of the two fighters somehow. He's just taking a lot. He hasn't attacked as much as Bargi, though. That, that is a fact. But Bargi, I must admit, he looks really exhausted. And this is where Mohamed Bargi is either going to grab a hold like this or fail from exhaustion. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm starting to think that Joshua has actually learned how to knee and clinch as the match went on. We didn't see it in the first round. We saw a bit of it in the second round, and now he's actually attacking with the knees. Oh! 
Rejected. Up kick there by Vargy. You know, it wouldn't take much, you know, if Joshua could find some body strikes here to completely sap the energy out of Vargy that's already been pretty much sapped already. Oh, big right hand there from Joshua. I think that was Joshua's best shot of the entire fight. Without a doubt. I mean, he's like a truck engine. It takes a while to uh, to get ready, but once it's ready, he continues to go forward. You know, imagine the scenes in Myanmar if Joshua could pull it out. Oh my goodness. This guy is tough. As JR would say, tougher than a $2 steak. It's funny you mentioned WWE. WWE. I was thinking of like the head shrinkers or something, how they don't get hurt from DDTs and headshots. That's what you're seeing right now. No, it's just Joshua's not, he's no selling moves. There you can see an absolutely exhausted Mohamed Baji. But he's managed to take Joshua down for the first time in this match. Well, except for the um, the high kick and what's his hole in the leg. Once again, just pushing Mohamed Baji away. Doesn't want to be in the clinch with him. Good kicks there from Baji. Baji now holding on to the ropes. Look at how tired he is. Come on, let's go, Joshua. We've got to find something here. Yeah, this is exactly when Joshua needs to take advantage of the situation when Mohamed Bargi is out of power, is out of breath. Oh my, what am I witnessing? Literally just standing there and asking to be elbowed. Well, I can see his quarter though, Joshua's quarter giving Joshua solid advice. Stop taking big shots and just go for it. Throw something! Either way though, I do want to see Joshua back here. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Every week. Just want to see if there's someone that can actually knock him out. It's not looking like so at the moment. Well, he's attempting some left hooks to the body. Yeah, a couple of left hooks. I mean, he just went for left hooks only. I mean, we're right next to the corner of Joshua. They are frustrated. They want him to stop doing that and actually start throwing some shots. And we end the round as we started with Joshua. The titanium plated jaw, Joshua being struck in the chin with elbows by Mohamed Baji, right, who I think might have lost some confidence here tonight, <laughs> even though it was. I have to agree with you there. Well, let's have a look at these highlights of Mami Baji trying to knock out Joshua. <laughs> he actually connected with that. I actually did not notice. Now, because we know Mohamed Baji for being a very powerful fighter, very clinical in his strikes. But I mean, against someone like Joshua, I mean, it's very difficult to see that. Yep. Yeah, see? Let's see. Elbow, no, nothing doing. And again, no, nothing doing. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised that none of that actually cut him. Maniac. Absolutely, absolute maniac. And the winner is... Black Connor Muhammad from Iran.